I have been all in on Elemento for years. But in 2025, Bricks finally made me stop and pay attention. They just dropped Bricks 2. It adds real features that solve everyday problems. You can now manage team access with custom dashboards, control who can edit what and even build an entire WooCommerce store. And no, this isn't sponsored. I paid for Bricks myself. All right, let's start building this from scratch. First, head over to bricksbuilder.io, sign up for an account and choose the pricing plan that works for you. Once you're done, download the Bricks theme zip file. Now head to your WordPress install, then go to appearance, open the theme section, click add new and upload the Bricks zip file you downloaded, activate it. You'll probably see a couple of welcome pop-ups. Feel free to dismiss those. From here, you can tweak your default theme settings like the container width, responsive breakpoints, and global color palette. Once you're happy with the setup, save your changes and head into the Bricks license tab to activate your license key. Now that Bricks is up and running, we can start designing the custom WooCommerce shop page. Make sure WooCommerce is installed and you've already added some products. If you preview your shop, you'll see the default layout. It's basic and gets the job done, but we are going to completely rebuild it using Bricks. Open the Bricks menu, go to Templates, and click Add New. Give it a name like Custom Shop Page, and choose the template type for WooCommerce Product Archive. Then hit Edit with Bricks to launch the builder. Once you're in, the layout is completely up to you. Start by inserting a new section. It'll come with a container already inside. Click on the section, Go to the Layout Settings, set the width to 100%. Now click on the container inside the section. In the Content Alignment Settings, center everything both vertically and horizontally. Then switch to the Style tab, set the minimum height to around 80VH and give it a background color. Under the Border Settings, round the corner slightly, about 10 pixels looks great. Inside that container, drop in a heading, give it a Z-index of 2, under that heading, add another container. On one side, drop in a button. While we're at it, let's add a product image. Set its width to 40% and switch its layout to absolute positioning. That makes it float on top of the section for a more dynamic layout. But before we move forward, you really don't want your store slowing down or worse, going offline because of performance issues. That's why I always run sites like this through Airlift. It's a free speed optimization plugin we built for WordPress and it handles all the messy stuff automatically. Unused CSS, image lazy loading, core web vitals, no config, no nonsense. Just install it and you're good to go. All right, now let's build out the actual shop grid. Insert another section and set its switch to 100% with about 40 pixels of padding. Inside, add a container and place two more containers inside it one for the filters and one for the products. The filter column can take up to 25% of the space. Set the padding to 10 pixels and arrange the layout vertically. In the large container, drop in the WooCommerce products widget. In the content settings, display three columns and around nine products. You can customize which product fields appear like name, price, and rating, and then style each of these however you like. You can also add a result count and sorting drop down above the product grid by enabling show before grid. Below that, enable pagination so users can browse through more items. Let's tweak the add to cart button next. This can't be styled directly from the widget, so click the gear icon in the builder header. Open the global styles panel and scroll to the WooCommerce button settings. From there, update the background, font, and hover effects. You can also adjust the global button styling if you want everything consistent across your site. Now let's go back to the filters container and build out a proper sidebar. Drop in the product filters widget. Start by adding a product search bar. Just click add item, choose other and select product search. Style it with some padding and a border to keep it clean. Next, add a price filter. Choose product price from the same menu and make it a collapsible slider. Then add a taxonomy filter for product categories. You can display them as checkboxes or drop down or radio buttons depending on what fits your design. Finally, add a reset filters button and style it to match the rest of your UI. At this point, we've got a full hero section, product grid and a working filter sidebar. But let's add a quick promo banner below the shop to showcase a seasonal sale or discount. Create a new section, give it a top margin of around 70 pixels and about 10 pixels of padding 
set the layout direction to row and minimum height to 40 vh. Round the corner slightly, about 10 pixels looks good again. Inside the container, add two child containers. In the first one, drop in a promo image, offset it with a negative top margin, say minus 60, and scale it up slightly to give it that floating effect. In the second container, add a heading, some text, and a button. Style them to match your hero section so the design feels consistent across the page. Once you're happy with everything, click save and preview the template. If it looks good, go back to your WordPress dashboard and create a new blank page. Drop in a shortcode widget and paste in the template shortcode you got from Bricks. Now open your WooCommerce settings, go to the products page and update the shop page to point to your new page. Last step, update your site menu. Head to the menu section in appearance, remove the old shop link and replace it with the new one. And that's it. You now have a fully custom WooCommerce shop built completely in bricks. To be honest, bricks really surprised me here. I wasn't expecting to get this level of control over WooCommerce without needing a bunch of third-party plugins or messy workarounds. It's not perfect. There's still room to grow in terms of polish and maybe some dynamic layout quirks. But honestly, for a builder that's doing all of this out of the box, it's way ahead of where I thought it would be. If you want to try this layout for yourself, I have dropped the template in the pinned comment below. Just download, import, and tweak it however you like. Click here if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're going to love it. Click here and I'll see you there.